What is up everyone, this is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to fix the, the USB storage devices not connected PS4 error. So this is mainly comes in two error modes, CE37857-0 or SU-41333-4. I personally had the SU-41333-4 error uh, back a while ago on when this error is essentially occurred. You'll see something similar to this or an, or it'll pop up with those two errors that I mentioned. This happened like when I usually try to like put in like a a USB to transfer over to my computer. Uh, let's say you don't want to upload from your PS4. Or you want to do something you don't want to put in a movie or you want to take out some games that you saved. Whatever the situation may be, like it just says the USB storage is not working. And there's a few reasons to this. Most likely it's the PS4, but there can be very certain situations where it's the USB itself that is corrupted. Uh, just to like highly talk about like the scenarios, let's say that USB, if you put it in your computer and it says it cannot read it, it is very possible that the USB itself is corrupted and you have to figure out a way or a fix around on how to get this basically fixed. So what you can most likely do is reformat the USB and if you do that, you should most likely be able to resolve the issue there. Now if it is being read on your computer and it works perfectly fine, you, you put some stuff in there, you moved it to another computer or whatever, that means it's possible that it's something with the USB on the PS4, so it could be that either it's defective, something went ha happened and went wrong, like it moved a little bit, it's not touching the right wires right, or it's the software itself of the PS4 that is causing this issue to occur. And what you can do to help essentially fix this is you could initialize your PS4. Uh, I believe I mentioned in a previous video on how to do the initialization on the PS4 itself. You click the uh, the power on button, either it's the depending on the new one or the old one, you press it or you touch it. Uh, you hold it for like less than 10 or 30 seconds something like that a screen pops up and in there there is a initialized ps4 screen once you do that you will be able to resolve most of these errors uh this is a good website i'll probably leave a link for you guys below to like check out to get some more uh assessment on like what you can do and like what common reasons are on like what it is what's happening it even gives you like a good little background on what to do and how to do these things as you can see like see this is the types of errors that you could possibly be getting and like this, this was like, again, one of the system errors. I personally had the SU-41333-4. Again, they're both the same exact thing uh, on when it's happening to you. Initializing the PS4 significantly helps. Let's say you did try that method. The final one I would highly recommend is, before I even recommend going down the route of reformatting your PS4, because I know a lot of people don't like to do that, I would recommend you getting another USB. USBs are fairly cheap. Check out one for like $5 or less than that, seeing if that works. If that still doesn't work, it is highly probable possible that is the usb port try changing the usb port from like let's say the left one to the right one see if that ends up working um see if like try to see if like doing those things around helps your thing clean it out if you have to it's possible that all those years of dusts have built up on that as well and causing this to occur again i don't like to make recommend reformatting the ps4 because that's usually like a last resort because it could be that the data itself and the software is corrupted and it's just not reading the usb um, there's also a possibility that it's not re reading the USB because of the type of USB it is. I know, I believe if it was like FAT32 or NAT type or something, I forgot what the, the, the different types were. But if it's because of that, it can end up causing an issue as well. So definitely keep that in mind as well. Yeah, if I think it was NFTS or the FAT32, it, if it's like either or, it can cause an issue. So again, definitely keep in mind, definitely see like what it is. Is it those types of things? And uh, like what's happening? But again, most likely if it's not being read in the PC, it could be a system there could be an error within the usb itself so definitely keep that in mind and you know take it from there so yeah uh i do hope this ends up being helpful and informative for you guys if it does let me know in the comment section below uh if it doesn't let me know i'll try to give you another walkthrough and try to walk you through as much as i possibly can so definitely comment below on what you need help with it and if it helped or not you know it helps me you know like let other people know like this is working uh if you overall like the video please smash that like button helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell other than that fnh out